Hello everybody. So, how do you go about scoring a movie in GarageBand? That's what we're going to be finding out today. The movie we're scoring is about a man walking cheerfully along the seashore, just like me. Eventually, he comes to a bench, sits down, puts on the sunglasses of smug self-satisfaction and gazes wistfully out to sea. There you go, that's the movie we're going to be scoring, so let's get back to the studio and see where we can get going. And so it is a new day with a fresh cup of tea. Let's get into this. Um, garage band, why garage band? Because it's free, because everybody who owns a Mac has garage band. So, I mean, it is fairly basic. It's sort of like logic ultralight. It's not so much reduced sugar as calorie free when it comes to its lightness. I mean, it looks a little bit like logic when you go to start it. There it goes, let's have a keyboard up. And it looks a little bit like dodgy when you're in there. It's just all the controls are missing. <laughs> Which you can hardly, you know, what, what, what do you expect? It's, it, but, can you score a serious movie in it? <laughs> Find out. Right, here's the movie in question. Let's just drag and drop it, see what happens. Yeah, that works. <laughs> okay, so that was complicated, wasn't it? Right, so here's the movie of me walking up and down the beach, and we're now gonna score it. Now, some things I would normally have as standard, I can't have like, uh, I can have a, a tempo track. Here we go, I can have a tempo track, let's have that. Yes, but there's no markers and there's no time signature, you can't change time signature. So we're gonna to have to work around. We're gonna to have to do a lot of working around. Now, one of the things which has occurred to me is, if I, uh, what is it, create a, um, a MIDI region, which goes for the whole film, um, I can get around the fact that I haven't got markers by turning the volume down and just putting notes in this. Uh, then let's see if we can create a tempo map because let's have a look, here I go, I walk, I talk, then that's all fine. This is all rolling along at 100, okay. Let's have a look at the A man walking cheerfully along the seashore. Get rid of him. Dum, 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 dum. Are we happy with 100? 120 is pretty good for this kind of thing, actually. Because what the spirit of this piece of film is, is it's just a cheerful little thing. We want something which is sort of slightly quirky and up, market, up tempo and... Okay. Right, now, if we want to hit a particular... Um, uh, cut like that one. The way we're going to do it is this. Uh, okay, so we're going to find where the cut is there. Um, and then we're going to look at the nearest beat, which is there. And then I'm going to adjust, I'm going to drag the tempo up and down. Uh, and you will see, watch the movie, watch the movie. The playhead stays still, but it shows you if you were to move that tempo, There you go, little by little. Yeah, is that it? Is that it? Is that gonna do it? Is that gonna change on 8.3? Yeah, more or less. So we sort of got there. <laughs> uh, let's put a, I'm gonna put a little nodule in there um, because when we come to put our next tempo change in, we don't wanna change anything which has gone before that. So let's just see where I sit. This is a soft hit. That's me starting speaking there. Actually, if you can see up here, um, I start speaking just before bar 19. So I'd like bar 19 to be in the clear. So let's just increase the tempo to say 122. There we go, that's better. Now you can see I will sit down and then start speaking. So let's now put another tempo mark in there. Command click to um, get my pencil tool up. And finally, this is another soft hit, because look, but I think I'd prefer, I, I, 
quite like bar 26 to be there or thereabouts. So you know, there, how about there? So let's try and get bar 26 to, to get there. Now, if we want bar 26 to come there, the whole thing's got to get faster. See, there we go. That's too fast. Back a bit. There we go. A bit more. See what that looks like. Two, two. Boom. That's fine. We've managed to do what you would normally do in a big posh door in GarageBand. We created a tempo map. Uh, which is quite cool, really. Right, but that still doesn't write the music for you, does it? No, guy, it does not. Okay, so we want something uh, which is going to be light and cheerful. Right, now we're going to go and explore <laughs> uh, GarageBand's extensive range of instruments. Uh, let's add another one. Right. Um, synthesizer? No, we'll, we'll come to that. Um, mallet, how about mallet? What's mini marimba? No, too many. Okay. Sometimes at this point, I do want to hear what I'm saying because it just influences your yeah. Hello everybody. So, how do you go about scoring a movie in GarageBand? That's what we're going to be finding out today. The movie we're scoring is about a man walking cheerfully along the seashore, just like me. Okay, I quite like the marimba. So what we need is something which feels like holding music until we get to uh, I Stop Speaking. So, how do you go about scoring a movie in GarageBand? That's what we're going to be finding out today. The movie we're scoring is about a man walking cheerfully along the seashore, just like me. Now, um, your quantization is a bit on the basic side in um, GarageBand. Of course it is, Guy. It's GarageBand. Uh, let's uh, try... Oh, see what happens with 16s? Yeah, ah, it does allow you to select just the ones you want to do as well, just like Logic does. Good, okay. Now, we need some, something else in here. Uh, okay, let's get, uh, let's get a drum track up. Because you can have drum track. Oh, it always defaults to... Hello, everybody. So, how do you go about... No, no, no. Take it away, I have nothing to say. Um, I want something very basic. I want... Oh look, what's all this? What's all this? I could choose funky songwriter. Is this my persona? I can choose a persona. Pop songwriter, experimental, roots, pop brush, 60s. I'm gonna be, no, I'm gonna be funky songwriter. That's Levi D. Uh, funky songwriter, or guy as he used to be known to his friends. Um, this is absolutely bonkers. Um, hang on, well, how do I, how do I, I tap, I tap, what, oh, percussion, that's what I really want. Uh, songwriter percussion? Studio percussion? Coffee shop? What is this madness? You go about scoring a movie in Garage Band. Oh, that's what we're going to be finding out today. The movie we're scoring is about a man Tell you what? I'm not averse to that, but I don't want it to come in there. I want studio percussion first. A man walking cheerfully along the seat. Oh. Go on, give me a shaker. That's better. That's what I want. Maybe I have to add another audio track. Yes, I probably do. Go on. Hello, everybody. So, how do you go about scoring a movie in Garage Band? Right, okay, I want the, the shaker, so I think all I have to do is turn the, the others down. That's what we're going to be finding out today. The movie we're scoring is about a man walking cheerfully along the seashore, just like me. Oh, okay. 
Ah, right. That ain't gonna work, is it? Right, take that out. Delete track. This one definitely works. We'll go with that. Hello, everybody. So, how do you go about scoring a movie in GarageBand? That's what we're gonna be finding out today. The movie we're scoring is about a man walking cheerfully along the seashore. Right, let's have another instrument in here. Let's get a bit of bass going. Um, now we're gonna have a bass. Let's go for a little, little bass. Uh, solid electric soul bass. Yeah, I'll go for that. Hello everybody. So, how do you go about scoring a movie in GarageBand? That's what we're going to be finding out today. The movie we're scoring is about a man... Okay, we're getting there. One more time, guys. ...finding out today. But this time, do it right. What do you mean, right? Don't be so cheeky. Hello, everybody. So, how do you go about scoring a movie in GarageBand? That's what we're going to be finding out today. The movie we're scoring is about a man walking cheerfully along the seashore, just like me. There. Okay. Now we want uh, another drum track. Uh, this time, it's going to be something... No, I don't want that. Very much organised in stylistic. Okay, I like that. Okay, now, what else do we need in the bit? Hello, everybody. So, right, we need another instrument up the front. Maybe. Yeah, why not just stick with this kind of default electric piano? They didn't put it default as for no reason. Hello everybody. So, how do you go about scoring a movie in GarageBand? That's what we're going to be finding out today. The movie we're scoring is about a man walking cheerfully along the seashore, just like me. Okay. Now, what are we going to do? Eventually, he comes to a bench, sits down, puts on the sunglasses of smug self-satisfaction, and gazes wistfully out to sea. Whoa! Ho, 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 ho. That sort of fitted, didn't it? Oh dear. If only I could play the piano today. Do, 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 do. Right, what am I going to quantize this to? There's no soft quantize, it's just kind of, you want it quantized or not? Push the button then, mate. Which is a bit tedious, but there we go. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, mate. It's all going to be great. Doon, 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 doon. Time quantize, what about, oh, I have got strength. I have got, look. <whistles> look, you got strength, you got strength, you got strength. We love strength. Oh, except I'm not selected in. <laughs> 90% of the time, all, oh. Time quanta, oh, strength's gone away. That's a shame, never mind. Uh, let's see what happens now. Yeah, baby. Okay. How's it going? Cool. Garage Band is my new best friend. It's the best scoring software on the planet. No, but the point is you can, you know, if you haven't got any DOSH and you want to have a go at this and you've got a Mac and you always wondered what 
um, garage band was all about, you could jump in. And, you know, underneath this, as, um, there, you can download the video and, and, this gar and this project if you really, really, really want to. So I am suggesting to you that this is great and you wouldn't need Logic or Cubase or anything. Yes, you do. Um, no, in all seriousness, what don't you have in here? Um, any support for time code. So it means you can't do professional work because you can't export a broadcast web file. Um, you have got no markers, no time lock markers. You can't change the time signature. You can't do anything about the start. You can't offset the start time in the movie. So you can't have like a few seconds of the movie there, you know, or whatever, um, and all the rest of it. But mainly, GarageBand is great. Well, it is great because it's free. And it's not only free, you can do proper little bits of work in it. Like, you know, not really proper, proper bits. After that, we're going to go back to our friend here for the chatty bit. Right. Eventually, he comes to a bench. There you go. We still need some bits and pieces in this first bit, though. Save your work, save your work, save your work. Blog. Uh, you don't even when you get to a, a transition like this, you don't want to tra change everything at once. So we're going to stick with the same bass sound. There was a little tiny mistakelet in there. Tiny little bit of nonsense. That. Go. Right. Okay, so let's add another track. What, you know, let's push the boat out, mate. Um, we're gonna have, what are we gonna have? Okay, let's, okay, orchestral. I shouldn't laugh. Smart strings? String ensemble, smart strings. Not that smart. Do you know what? I'm gonna live without that. Thanks for offering, but no. I've got, did I see World or something hanging around? Yes, I. Percussion? Chinese drums, tuck and drum? No. Koto, Pippa, air who? Koto. Oh, Pippa. No. I don't know. Sure. Just like me. No, but yes. Sure, just like me. take it out because all that waffle at the end was rubbish. Um, now we need um, some form of synth pad or something because um, we need we're coming up to transition to the aerial bit and this cheery little stuff going on here is not going to hack it for the aerial bit. Have you, have you got any plugins on this? I don't know. Is there a, is there a mixer or plugins or anything? No. <laughs> Mix, mix, mix. Oh, no, 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 no. View. No. 
Okay, we are. Something like that. Is there really no such thing as plugins or reverb or any of that? There must be, there must be, must be, must be. I can assign a track colour, but I can't do anything else. It's all looking very, very promising. It's coming on a very, very, um, how can I, is there a, uh, oh, attack, yes. I'll have some more of that then. Even more of that, thanks. That's better. That's better. Eventually, he comes to an edge. He sits down, puts on the sunglasses of smug self satisfaction, and gazes wistfully out. Okay, um, that works. So there's a little bit of continuity because we introduce the drift synth before we get rid of the other stuff. So it doesn't feel like too grunchy a transition. Let's have another instrument. This one's gonna be... Do you know what? At this point, I'm going to turn off the click. You're not, guy. You're going to do what? I'm going to turn off the click because I don't need it. I don't need it. I'm just going to vibe. Oh. Eventually, he comes to a bench, sits down. Truth be told, I don't like that chord there. That chord there is not my favourite chord. What? But we were such good friends. No, we're not. I don't like you. I don't like you and your G majorness. I want you to go away and think about yourself. Oh, okay. So I don't want to have to live with that G major chord there. It was a bad error of judgment for which I will be eternally apologetic. Right, uh, now where do we want to go? Yeah, an F would do. Can I get the picture back? Oh. Okay. Well, look, this is an improvement on where we were. Not difficult. I didn't ask your opinion. Mm, you did. Okay. Self satisfaction and gazes wistfully out to sea.
this isn't going as well as I thought it was going to. It's sort of not that good. It's just a bit ungood. What else have I got? Oh, come on. You've got to get something going here, guy. Well, no, you could just crash and burn. Oh, I hadn't thought of that as an option. Thanks for that. Um, warm winter day. It's not a winter day, but it could... Oh, that's quite nice. Okay. Even buried in the depths of garage band, you can find nice synth pads if you know where to look. Self satisfaction and gazes wistfully out to sea. There you go, that's the movie we're gonna... <laughs> okay, um, what am I gonna do? Something like that maybe. There you go. That this is better, but still no cigar. There you go. That. Uh, what do we think? Oh, come on, guy. Give it over. Performance time. Really? Is that it? Is that all you're going to do? Actually, yes. Uh, one more thing which I have worked out in GarageBand. Although you can't bounce to disc, which is really annoying because there's things you'd like to do, you sort of can. What you do is this. Um, you solo the track you want. You set the... Um, the um, the loop thing um, so it's um, just that bit. You then go to share, export song to disc, and then you go piano, whatever, and then you stick it somewhere easy to find, like the desktop. Uh, what is it going to be? AAC, yes, that'll do. Export, zoop. Oh, it's going to do the whole thing, okay. Um, doesn't matter, we can cut it down. Um, so what it's doing is it's bouncing the whole thing out, but it's only soloing the piano. So all you're going to hear is the piano. So then, once it's done it, um, in your own time, mate, in your own time, that's the one, then we drag it in to an audio track, and there it is. You have bounced that to, um, to disc, to all intents and purposes. And then you can do all the stuff, you know, well, you can't do much, but you can do a little bit. Um, you can do some basic um, tempo changing and things like that. Um, by changing the tempo, bouncing stuff out, etc, etc. Anyway, but that's quite a useful little trick. The other thing is, um, something which I cocked up earlier, was um, you can um, get um, the... Uh, you can. There is such a thing as uh, plugins. Loads of them, actually. It's really good. It's one of its best features. And somehow I neglected to notice its best feature. Um, so if we go to, I don't know, this one, uh, let's get the uh, controls up. There we go. Now, look, here, do you see this? Under track, plugins, 
down it comes. So look, under distance synth, So here we go, so we, you can add delay, you can add space designer, you can add dynamics, modulation, spe ooh, exciter, sub bass, you've got all kinds of stuff going on. What are you thinking, guy? Didn't read the manual, did I? So, there is a lot you can do with GarageBand, and even in its, you know, it, it, everything, life's a workaround in GarageBand, obviously, because it is fairly basic. But look at all this stuff you can do. Let's have a little performance, shall we? Here we go, scored in GarageBand. That's the movie we're gonna... No, go back to the beginning, guy. Really? Yes, right back to the beginning. Okay. Hello, everybody. So, how do you go about scoring a movie in GarageBand? That's what we're gonna be finding out today. The movie we're scoring is about a man walking cheerfully along the seashore just like me. Eventually he comes to a bench, sits down, puts on the sunglasses of smug self-satisfaction and gazes wistfully out to sea. There you go, that's the movie we're going to be scoring. So let's get back to the studio and see where we can get going. And see where we can get going. Did he really say that? Can, sorry, can we, can we hire another presenter? That's just rubbish. So look, there you go. You couldn't have simpler tools to work with really than GarageBand, but it's got everything you need to get started. It really has, you can, you know, and in some respects these restrictions uh, not having thousands of instruments and loads of plugins make you focus on, you know, the spirit of the music you're writing, things like that. If you want to have a go at this, um, you can click the little link down below and um, we'll send it to you. Send you the movie, send you the Garage Band project, and then you can have fun for yourself. Look, if you enjoyed this, feel free to subscribe to the channel. I honestly don't mind. And um, you can check out all our courses at uh, ThinkSpace Education. Uh, .ac UK, thinkspace d.ac.uk. It's a new uh, domain because it's um, what higher education institutions are allowed to use. So we are using it because we haven't used it before. Anyway, so that's where we are. Um, hope you all had a good time and I'm looking forward to seeing you again very soon. See you soon. Bye bye.